What is up you guys? Welcome back to Pete LaMaster Music and in today's video I'm going to explain to you what a seventh chord is on the piano, why it gets used in music, and then also the different versions of a seventh chord because you may have seen that there is such a thing as a major seventh, a seventh, and a minor seventh and they're actually all different chords even though they're all seventh chords. So let's get right into it. So the first version of a C7 chord that I want to talk to you about is just called C7. So the three we're going to cover are C7, C major 7, and C minor 7. And first chord we're going to talk about is starting with a C major. So your C, your E, and your G, and then adding this B flat, okay? That is the C7. It's essentially, it's still a, it's still a major chord at the root, which is starting with this, um, you know, minor and then major triad. So skipping, uh, sorry, major then minor. So skipping three notes, then skipping two notes. But then to make it a seven chord, you skip two more notes between the five, uh, and, and the five and then the flat seven that you're playing there. So. C7 is technically called a dominant seven, which is being built by making the major chord and adding a flat seven. You don't have to worry too much about what those words mean if you're not really interested in the theory behind it and you just wanna know how to play it. Essentially, a seven of any chord, you can just take your major chord and then add another uh, space of two notes. So in this case, we're skipping over the uh, the G sharp and the A here and playing the B flat. And that gives us the seven chord. So the difference between a C and a C7. And maybe you can hear like C major is just this very pleasing so uh, chord while C7 adds a little bit of tension with that flat seventh. Now the difference between a C7 and a C major seven is that C major seven is a major chord then you, that you then stack a major seventh on top of. So again, you take your C, your E, and your G, and now you're playing the seventh as it would be in your scale. So that is a B, not a B flat. And so you can kind of hear the difference right here between a C7 and a C major seven. Okay, so C7 is what's called a dominant seventh, and then this is a major seventh. Major seventh. And this, the difference is, rather than skip two notes between the five of the major scale, um, rather than skipping two notes, you're skipping three notes. So that is stacking a major seventh up. And you can also notice if you were to play like the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do scale in the key of C, this is the seventh note in that scale. So again, like if you're playing a C major seven, which is C, E, and G, you're also adding in a B. And it doesn't matter if you play this B below your root or this B up here, or even if you were to use your left hand and play some really low Bs, you're still playing a C major seven. So the difference again between a C seven and a C major seven is really can just be thought of as that gap between the fifth and then the seventh that you play. So when you play the C major, if you skip two notes, that's how you play the C seven, which is the dominant seventh. If you skip three notes, that is how you play the major seventh, okay? And so the last version of a seven chord that we're gonna play in this video and cover in this video is a minor seventh. So if I have a C minor, all right, this is still the C and the G, but now instead of playing the E, I'm playing a D sharp or E flat. Okay, so that is the C minor chord. And to make a minor seventh, you stack, again, you skip two notes, and so you're stacking another minor um, up here. So you're playing the same note as you would in a C7, this B flat, but now instead of playing the E, you're playing E flat. Okay, so that is what's meant by a minor seventh. You're taking um, the minor chord, C minor, and then you're adding in a seven, B flat, okay? So, just really quickly, you could play all of these with your root uh, note being C, or like C between G. 
like alternating between C and G, you can play all of these and you start to hear uh, slightly different voicings in your songs when you use them. And that's actually why songwriters use them. Because if you're playing a song in the key of C and you want to sort of get back to the root chord, which is C, but you want to do something kind of interesting and flavor it, then using a seventh chord is a really good way of doing that. So real quick, this is just me playing the C chord. Just regular C major. Now here is C7. And now here is C major 7. And now here's C minor. And here's C minor 7. Okay, so really quickly, just to show you how much these are actually changing the overall tone of the song, I'm just gonna mess around a little bit and play between C, C7, C major seven, C minor, and C minor seven. So the whole time, I'm not gonna change my root notes from playing anything other than Cs and Gs, and you can hear all these different voicings in action, okay? It's maybe made even a little more clear if you arpeggiate these different chords, so like a C major seven. And then a C dominant seven, so a C seven. And then a C minor seven. Okay, and these actually also should show you that if you're in the key of C, as long as you kind of play the notes that are out of place, the black keys that you're using, kind of quickly, you can make some really cool melodies by using the concept of a seventh chord as well. So like. Okay, so that is how you play a major seventh, a seventh, and a minor seventh. And just to be clear, I showed all of these in C because it's a really easy beginner friendly key to learn in and an easy chord to learn in, but the concepts are exactly the same for any chord. If you were playing a G major and you want to find the seventh, the, uh, the dominant seventh, it's back, um, it's up two uh, notes from your fifth. So you're grabbing that F. That's a, that's a G7. To play a G major seven, you're grabbing the seven, which now is F sharp, uh, because that is skipping three notes between your five and the seven. And then to play a minor seventh, it's the same exact thing. You play the G minor chord, and then that uh, actual true seven. Okay, so I hope you found this tutorial useful. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next on the channel. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.